Hello everyone and welcome back to another No Man's Sky video. I was not expecting to make one a day after my first No Man's Sky video, but a couple hours ago, No Man's Sky did release a new trailer. It's actually going to be part of a little mini series depicting the four main aspects of No Man's Sky. And inside of this trailer, there was actually a large amount of screens jam packed into very small intervals of time. So I did want to kind of play it for you guys and also slow down some of those screens and kind of take a closer peek and explain what they might be about so without further ado let's roll the trailer and see what goodies it may contain so the format of how i'm going to do this trailer is slow it down every time there is a quick change in screens or something like that and if there is something cool i notice i will leave it extended on that screen for a good amount of time and actually talk about it but in the meantime enjoy the video pop yourself a bowl of fresh popcorn and uh bask in the beauty of no man's sky so cool thing you can notice on this planet, flying eel-like animals. Here you can appear to see what is one of those guardians that will attack you if you do too much damage to a planet. That's what it appears to be, unless it's something entirely different, but that would be my best guess. So there's actually a lot of stuff in this particular screen grab. We can see that there's some sort of toxicity level of the planet in the lower left-hand corner with that green bar. We can see our heartbeat, which is our health. This guy might be taking damage. Extremely cold planet at negative 30 cold and some sort of status buffs up in the upper left-hand corner, but not entirely sure what that is. And here what appears to be another one of those guardians and a sort of larger looking animal. Here we just have what appears to be a landed spaceship and it's just something I want to take note of because there are different spaceships in the game so this might be different from other ones we see and and or the one we start off piloting this might very well be like an upgraded or better one that can be bought. Rather large alien ship here. You might be able to trade with it if you can like dock in it like a hangar, but still want to take note of it because it is, well, it's pretty damn big. Those things kind of near the bottom of the window pane you see appear to be missiles because they got like the jet stream behind them and they are flying in a certain direction. So where the last planet had the toxicity bar, this time what we have is the heat bar. So this appears to be a very hot planet. And you can also see that due to the fact it's 90 degrees Celsius. And also that bar appears to denote that you can be overheating and potentially even taking damage slash dying. There's something, some sort of gas emanating from the plants. No clue if there will be a use to that. And also kind of cool, you can see a moon in the background. That large stone structure there might be the one I referenced in my prior video, and that is a monolith. If you read it slash interact with it, it will allow you to become more fluent in a certain alien language and have for better trade. Something pretty cool here, we have an asymmetrical ship. I believe this was revealed a couple weeks ago or something for the first time, but asymmetrical ships will be in the game, and this is cool to look at because it's not every day you see asymmetrical ships in any type of game. Up in the sky, we can see some sort of flying wildlife in a flock. Here, multiple ships in the sky flying relatively close to this planet, and also it is a toxic planet. And something I just noticed in the left hand, kind of on the left hand near that toxic icon, there are icons possibly denoting that when you visit a planet, you will have waypoints or be able to set waypoints to certain areas and points of interest. And at this point in time, there's just gonna be a lot of screen grabs of the plethora a variety that will be present in the wildlife. And a quick reminder regarding that these animals are procedurally generated. This is only a small taste of the total that you can discover and there are really going to be a good chance that there are going to be some outrageous species in your travels. And then here we can see an extremely cold planet and where that heat and toxicity bar was in the lower left hand corner there is an ice symbol. Here we have the Guardian scanning us for some reason and a large, appearingly man-made and or alien-made structure. Maybe something that this Guardian is attempting to protect and that's why it's scanning us. And then here another stone with some symbols on it. My best guess would be another monolith, potentially a little bit smaller than the last. Now here we have a very interesting alien spaceship, kind of looking like a space station. My best guess is you might be able to dock here and trade with them. At least that's my hope, because that'd be pretty cool to actually be able to trade in outer space and not just on planets. Then here, another very large Imperial Star Destroyer looking ship, which is huge.
And now we're getting into the part where we see how we can analyze animals. We get to learn data about them. And this also goes for plants as well, which I didn't quite realize. Now I had to stop it here again because there is an awesome whale lord, whale shark looking beast in the water, which is very cool to know that there are going to be some amazing beasts, not just on land, but also in the water. And now they're simply reiterating the fact that this game is about journeying to the center of the universe and discovering what may lie there. Nice zoom out of the star map and then give us a sense of scale of just how many stars there are along with a cool quote regarding space exploration and the fact that the universe awaits August 9th is when we can get our hands on it. I cannot wait. Hopefully you guys cannot wait either. Super excited for this game. I'm going to make an awesome series on it. Going to continue analyze this like four series of trailers that's going to come out. Definitely going to do more stuff like this because it's going to talk about trade and craft or maybe not crafting but survival. And it is definitely something that I do want to talk about because that's something that they haven't talked much about versus what this topic was, exploration, something that's been very much well discussed. So I cannot wait for the future trailers. Hope you guys cannot wait either. And if there is anything you guys saw that I didn't comment on, but you think was pretty cool, leave a timestamp, leave it in the comment section down below and let me know what you saw that you liked so much. I'm always looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. This isn't just me talking about No Man's Sky. This is me being excited for No Man's Sky. And I want to be excited with you guys. That's like half the fun of like the lead up to the game. Just the general excitement of us together. So I don't know. If you did enjoy the video, if you liked what I did, go ahead, slap that like button and let me know in the comment section down below along with how excited you are for this game. But I think if you're watching this, you're probably pretty damn excited. Other than that though, that is going to go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys for watching the video as always. And hopefully I'll see you next one.